remember, you want to play with power. So keep it simple at first. Now, if you want, you can double time. So let me break this down for you. We are playing nothing more than an F major chord. And if you look at this, this is an F major chord. We're gonna move this up. That's called an inversion. So that's first inversion and move it up one more time. This is F second inversion. So this is one, two, three, and then the A minor. And then we're gonna go down to a G. You got it, it's also second inversion. So this is a G major chord. And then lastly, we will go to a C chord. So one more time, let's play this together. We'll hold this for three counts. One, two, three. Two, three. Now, if you want to really set the tone and you wanna take it up a notch, you can, you can kind of add a little bit more bass here. And if you want, you can keep the bass simple and just pad those chords with your right hand. Now, I'd like to let you all know that we're actually thinking about doing videos just like this every Wednesday. So including our Monday uploads, we'll include a Worship Wednesday where we'll cover worship patterns, worship chord progressions, anything and everything about worship. So comment below if you can type Worship Wednesdays. And if I get 50 of you guys to comment Worship Wednesdays below, I promise we'll start doing weekly videos just like this. So now that we have set the tone for worship, we wanna take things up a notch, depending on where they are during this worship experience. And what I like to do is, I like to set the pace. So we can set a pace or create a pace like this. I'm telling you, there is so much power in simplicity. Now, if you guys feel like I'm moving too fast or you need a little more reinforcement, feel free to join our free club. Um, you're already a member of the free club because all these videos are free, but you're going to also get access to the lifetime membership. When you donate, you get the PDF, you get the MIDI files. That way it makes your learning experience so much easier or pretty simple. If you notice here, these chords are basically the same as what we did in level one. But again, we're going to move this up an octave and we're going to add the two. Now you're probably thinking, what is add the two? Simple. In the F major chord, one, three, five. Well, in between one and three is your two. So one, two, three, four, five. One, three, five, add the two. It just makes things extra pretty. <laughs> so we're gonna move this up an octave. So from here, we'll be here. And we're gonna add the two. So, and then we're gonna go up here. This was the first chord that we played. And instead of this minor chord, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a F add two. And then that's over A. And then we're gonna take it down here to the same G chord, add the two. And then you notice instead of going up here, we went down here. So let's review chord number one. to the G 
and then right here. And that's all there is. This is a C major chord, add the two, and this is over the E. So let's do that together. One, two, three. Up. One, two, three. Down. Up, two, three. Watch this. Up to the G. Now watch this. <laughs> so that's a G, add the two, over B, and then our C, add the two, over C. So I want you to listen to this first. It sounds like I'm doing a lot more than what I'm really doing. Listen to this. So this is the chord and the arpeggio starts at the top, go to the bottom and work your way up. And that's called a cycle. So this is going to be one complete cycle. So the cycle starts at the top, goes to the bottom. Don't hit that again because that starts a new cycle. So this is one, two, three. So let's play that together. Two, three. That's three cycles. So one, and I'm using my sustain pedal. I'll hold that pedal down and then I'll play it. Two, three. That cycle is complete. Then I'm gonna to go to my next chord, which is here. And I'm only gonna do one cycle of this chord. So you start at the top, Go down, up, up. That's one complete cycle. So let's do the first chord again. Two, three, one, one cycle. That's all we're gonna do. And then we're gonna go to our next chord, which is this G, G chord. So it goes like this. We're gonna do three of these. So let's do this one, two, three, and that's it. So let's review. One, two, three, and that's one of those. And then one, two, three, and remember, don't go back to the top. That's only three cycles there. And then that's the same chord that we did. That's a C major chord with the add two over the E. So you're gonna do one cycle of this one. One, so top, down, up, up, and you stop there. And then we're gonna repeat that. Two, three, one, one, two, three, one. Let's go to the second part of this. Watch this. <laughs> oh man, this, man, I'm telling you in the right context at the right time, I'm telling you, man, you might get caught up <laughs> while you're playing this. So let's break this down. So we did, I'm just fast forwarding. Here we go. This is only gonna be two times this time on the G. One, two, and then here we go. And then you're gonna start that over. So let's talk about this. This is chord number three and then on beat four. So, so this is a G major chord with add two over B. And what you're gonna do is start at the top, work your way down. That's one complete cycle. And then go to the very last chord here, which is a C over C, which is a C add two, second inversion over two. And we'll start at the top, go down to the bottom, 
and then work our way up and that's one complete cycle so all right so let's do this together and i'm gonna do it super slow so one two three and then we're gonna go up and then go to the G two three go down to your next chord one and then repeat one two three this is only gonna be two times on this G one two and then Listen, if you are setting the tone and that's all that worship experience calls for, then stay right there. Don't do too much. Man, just, just stay there. I promise, man, you're gonna be okay because you have an assignment and that assignment is to create an atmosphere of worship. So anytime you feel the need to do something more, and you feel the spirit is leading you to do it, then go to that next level. But don't go to the next level if they're not pulling on you and you don't feel the spirit leading you to do it, you're gonna be doing too much. The focus should be on God. I can't say this enough, and I don't wanna extend this video longer than what it should be, but I'm telling you that you have an assignment and keep it simple. And if you need to do the extra bells and whistles, then do it. <laughs> so again, I love you guys so much. I'll have another video up here if you want to learn more about how to create a flow. And I never like to close any video without letting you all know that today is a new day, a new life, and a new opportunity for you to become a better you. I'll see you next Monday or maybe next Wednesday. See you then.